Hey guys, what's up? It's Superist here, and today I'll be reacting to episode 7 of Avatar The Last Airbender. The previous episode was just basically, I think, a filler episode. They're still moving toward the North Pole, but they're taking their way... They're, they're taking their time in getting there. So hopefully from this episode onward, we'll get a little bit more progress and hopefully get closer to the North Pole instead of just having all of these other encounters. Although it's it's fine too. Uh, we get to see a little bit more of the world and all of the other uh, places, the other characters that are living in this uh, world that they're living in. So anyway, this is episode seven of Avatar The Last Airbender. Let's get on with it. Hey guys, before we continue with the reaction, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and click on the notification bell so that you won't miss any new uploads. And with that, let's go back to the reaction. Okay. Winter Solstice Part 1. Those clouds look so soft, don't they? Like you could just jump down and you'd land in a big, soft, cottony heap. Maybe you should give it a try. You're hilarious. I'll try it! <laughs> yeah! To be so carefree. Like that, I I hope. <laughs> Turns out clouds are made of water. Mm, of course. It's so quiet. There's no life anywhere. Aang, are you okay? Fire Nation! Those evil savages make me sick. They have no respect for Shh. What? I'm not allowed to be angry. <sighs> How could I let this happen? Aang, you didn't let this happen. It has nothing to do with you. Yes, it does. It's the Avatar's job to protect nature. But I don't know how to do my job. That's why we're going to the North Pole. To find you a teacher. Yeah, a waterbending teacher. But there's no one who could teach me how to be the Avatar. Monkey Atsu said that Avatar Roku would help me. Mm. The Avatar before you? He died over 100 years ago. How are you supposed to talk to him? I don't know. Through the spirit realm. So that's why Uncle, it's called the spirit world in this Where one. Are you? Uncle Iroh! Over here. Uncle, I really like the fact that he's so involved. chill. We're closing in on the Avatar's trail, and I don't want to lose him. <laughs> I, wish I, I wish I could be just chill like him. Yeah. Yeah. My troubles cannot be soaked away. It's time to go! You should take your teacher's advice and relax a little. Exactly, I want that. Is just right. <laughs> I heated it myself. <laughs> hey, Aang, are you ready to be cheered up? No. <laughs> hey, how was that cheering me up? <laughs> cheered me up. Ow. Yeah, I probably deserve that. Thanks, Katara. <gasps> oh. Hey, who are you? When I saw the flying bison, I thought it was impossible. But those markings... Are you the Avatar child? My village desperately needs your help. Hmm. Looks like an... Earth village. So, is there something I can help you with? I'm not sure. Our village is in crisis. He's our only hope. For the last few days at sunset, a spirit monster comes and attacks our village. Mm -hmm. He is Hebai, the black and the white spirit. Why is it attacking you? We do not know. But each of the last three nights, he has abducted one of our own. We are especially fearful because the winter solstice draws near. What happens then? As the solstice approaches, the natural world and the spirit world grow closer and closer until the line between them is blurred completely. Heibai is already causing devastation and destruction. Once the solstice is here, there is no telling what will happen. So what do you want me to do exactly? 
Who better to resolve a crisis between our world and the spirit world than the Avatar himself? You are the great bridge between man and spirit. Right, that's me. Hey, great bridge guy, can I talk to you over here for a second? Aang, you seem a little unsure about all this. Yeah, that might be because I don't know anything at all about the spirit world. It's not like there's someone to teach me this stuff. So, can you help these people? I have to try, don't I? Maybe whatever I have to do will just come to me. Maybe this is uh, do it, the moment he'll meet Roku yeah. for the first time. We're all gonna get eaten by a spirit monster. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. He's a Fire Nation soldier. He's no ordinary soldier. This is the Fire Lord's brother, the Dragon of the West, the once great General Iroh. But now, he's our prisoner. Oh, I didn't... Oh, okay. I didn't know this, this was gonna happen. Or rather, I didn't... I don't remember this happening. But, interesting. Iroh gets Whoa. captured. So that's the thing. You must be the Hay by Spirit. My name is My name is Ang. I'm the Avatar and I would like to help. Hey, wait up. Hmm. There's gotta be a reason why it's attacking this village. They must have done something. This is frustrating. So it has something to do with that patch of land that was burnt, probably. Hmm, okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Where are you taking me? We're taking you to face justice. Right. But where specifically? A place you're quite familiar with, actually. Bossing Fay? Oh. For 600 days, but it would not yield to you. Ah, the great city of Bossing Fay. It was greater than you were, apparently. I acknowledge my defeat at Bossing Fay. After 600 days away from home, my men were tired, and I was tired. <sighs> and I'm so <laughs> back. Uh-oh. Ah. Uh. He's very sneaky, isn't he? Sure, they'll be back. I know. You should get some rest. 
Everything's gonna be okay. Your brother is in good hands. I would be shocked if the Avatar returned without him. Katara? Katara, I lost him. Oh, he's now the in the spirit world. Rising. Perhaps he will return soon. What? No, I'm right here. <sighs> okay, this is a, an interesting turn of events. Finally, we get to meet the guy. <gasps> he can see the spirit world? What's the problem? Nothing. Whoa. There is a bit of a problem. My old joints are feeling sore and aching, and these shackles are too loose. Too loose? That's right. The cuffs are loose and they jangle around and bump my wrists. It would help me if you would tighten them so they wouldn't shake around so much. Very well. Corporal, tighten the prisoner's handcuffs. Dangerous, Captain. <laughs> we can't just carry him to the cabin. We have to do something now. I agree. He must be dealt with immediately and severely.
Where's Sokka? I'm not sure. These dangerous hands must be crushed. Excellent form, Prince Zuko. You taught me well. Surrender yourselves. It's five against two. You're clearly outnumbered. Ah, uh, that's true. But you are clearly outmatched. Wow. <laughs> It was just a panda. Sokka! Oh, that, that, wow. What happened? You were trapped in the spirit world for 24 hours. How are you feeling? Like I seriously need to use the bathroom. That resolved itself quickly. Avatar. If only there were a way to repay you for what you've done. You could give us some supplies and some money. Sokka? <laughs> We need stuff. It would be an honor to help you prepare for your journey. I'm so proud of you, Aang. You figured out what to do all on your own. Actually, I did have a little help. And there's something else. What is it? I need to talk to Roku. And I think I found a way to contact his spirit. That's great! Creepy, but great. There's a temple on a crescent-shaped island. And if I go there on the solstice, I'll be able to speak with him. Mm. But the solstice is tomorrow. Yeah, and there's one more problem. The island is in the Fire Nation. Ooh. That's cool. All right. So I think both episodes 7 and 8 are connected. So I'm going to get right into episode 8 as well okay all right so this is episode eight of avatar the last airbender okay so now they're gonna take another detour and we're gonna be able to see and meet avatar roku in the spirit so they have to move they do they have to do a detour to the fire nation first before going to the water tribe the northern water tribe Look, i'm sorry but katara and Sokka aren't coming to the fire nation with us they got hurt. I'd never forgive myself. So get your big butt off the ground and let's go! I think his big butt is trying to tell you something. Please don't go, Aang. The world can't afford to lose you to the Fire Nation. Neither can I. Well, technically, if he dies, somebody else will just what take his place. To Avatar Roku to find out what my vision means. I need to get to the Fire Temple before the sun sets on the solstice. That's today. We're not letting you go into the Fire Nation, Aang. At least not without your friends. We got your back. Ew! It's a long journey to the Crescent Island. You'll have to fly fast to have any chance of making it before sundown. Good luck. Thank you for your... Go! We've got a long way to go! Faster! 
Wow, that's so, so fast. Sailing into Fire Nation waters. Of all the foolish things you've done in your 16 years, Prince Zuko, this is the most foolish. I have no choice, Uncle. Have you completely forgotten that the Fire Lord banished you? What if you're caught? I'm chasing the Avatar. My father will understand why I'm returning home. You give him too much credit. Mm, exactly. My brother is not the understanding type. There they are. Helmsman! Full steam ahead! Hey, we got trouble! Yeah! And it's gaining fast! Oh my gosh. They're gonna just blast him off the sky. Technically, you were still in Earth Kingdom waters. Turn back now, and they cannot arrest you. If we fly north, we can go around the Fire Nation ships and avoid the blockade. It's the only way. There's no time. This is exactly why I didn't want you to come. It's too dangerous. And that's exactly why we're here. Let's run this blockade. Appa, yip yip. Nice. Nice maneuvering from Appa. Appa, are you okay? Ah! Whoa. <laughs> Okay. We made it! We got into the Fire Nation. Great. Where do you think the Avatar is headed, sir? I'm not sure. But I bet a certain banished prince will know. We're on a collision course! We can make it! The boarding party is ready to apprehend Prince Zuko, sir. Wait. Cut the engines and let them pass. Sir? It's almost sundown. Will they make it? There it is! The island where Roku's dragon took me. You did it, buddy. Nice flying. Oh, you must be tired. No! Uh, I'm good. Refreshed and ready to fight some firebenders. I was talking to Appa. Well, I was talking to Momo. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, okay. Off to talk to Avatar Roku. Wait, I think I heard something. We are the Fire Sages, guardians of the Temple of the Avatar. Great, I am the Avatar. We know. Why'd they attack the Avatar? Avatar contacts Roku. There's no telling how powerful the boy will become. 
Split up and find him. I don't want to fight you. I am a friend. Firebenders aren't our friends. I know why you're here, Avatar. You do? Yes. You wish to speak to Avatar Roku. I can take you to him. How? This way. Find him. Time is running out. Quickly. Avatar Roku once called this temple his home. He formed these secret passages out of the magma. Did you know Avatar Roku? No, but my grandfather knew him. Many generations of fire sages guarded this temple long before me. We all have a strong spiritual connection to this place. Is that how you knew I was coming? A few weeks ago, an amazing thing occurred. The statue of Avatar Roku. Its eyes began to glow. That's when we were at the Air Temple. Avatar Roku's eyes were glowing there, too. At that moment, we knew you had returned to the world. If this is the Avatar's temple, why did the sages attack me? Things have changed. In the past, the sages were loyal only to the Avatar. When Roku died, the sages eagerly awaited for the next Avatar to return. But he never came. They were waiting for me. Hey, don't feel bad. You're only a hundred years late. They lost hope the Avatar would ever return. When Fire Lord Sozin began the war, my grandfather and the other sages were forced to follow him. I never wanted to serve the Fire Lord. When I learned you were coming, I knew I would have to betray the other sages. Thank you for helping me. We'll follow these stairs to the sanctuary. Once you're inside, wait for the light to hit Avatar Roku's statue. Only then will you be able to speak with him. <gasps> no! Shai, what's wrong? The sanctuary doors, they're closed. Can't you just open them with fire bending? Like you open that other door? No. Only a fully realized avatar is powerful enough to open this door alone. Otherwise, the sages must open the doors together with five simultaneous fire blasts. Five fire blasts, huh? I think I can help you out. This is a little trick I picked up from my father. I seal the lamp oil inside an animal skin casing. Shayu lights the oil-soaked twine and ta-da! Fake fire bending. You've really outdone yourself this time, Sokka. This might actually work. The sages will hear the explosion, so as soon as they go off, you rush in. It's almost sunset. Are you ready? Definitely. <gasps> They're still locked! It's not enough. It you need a powerful work. fire blast for it. Wait, so does that mean he won't be able to meet with Avatar Roku? Hey, stop! There's nothing else we can do. I'm sorry I put you through all this for nothing. I don't get it. That blast looked as strong as any firebending I've seen. You're a genius! Wait, how is Sokka a genius? His plan didn't even work. Come on, Aang. Let her dream. You're right. Sokka's plan didn't work. But it looks like it did. Did the definition of genius change in the last hundred years? Come quickly! The Avatar uh. is out of the sanctuary! How did he get in? I don't know. But look at the scorch marks. And down there! He's inside! Open the doors immediately, before he contacts Avatar Roku. It's the Avatar's Lima. 
He must have crawled through the pipes. We've been tricked. <laughs> okay. Hey, now's your chance. The avatar is coming with me. Close the doors. Quickly. Okay. He made it. Ooh. Bright light. An avatar Roku spirit will appear. Hopefully, maybe. Not sure. The light hits the statue when I talk to Roku. So why isn't anything happening? Why isn't it working? It's sealed shut. It must have been the light. Avatar Roku doesn't want us inside. Okay. There we go. He'll enter the spirit world, maybe? Or... It's good to see you, A. Okay. It took you so long. I have something very important to tell you, A. That is why, when you were in the spirit world, I sent my dragon to find you. Is it about that vision? The one of the comet? Yes. What does it mean? One hundred years ago, Fire Lord Sozin used that comet to begin the war. He and his firebending army harnessed its incredible power and dealt a deadly first strike against the other nations. So the comet made them stronger? Yes, stronger than you could even imagine. But that happened a hundred years ago. What does the comet have to do with the war now? Listen carefully. Sozin's comet will return by the end of this summer. And Fire Lord Ozai will use its power to finish the war once and for all. Mm. If he succeeds, even the Avatar won't be able to restore balance to the world. Aang, you must defeat the Fire Lord before the comet arrives. But I haven't even started learning waterbending, not to mention earth and fire. Mastering the elements takes years of discipline. Ex practice. Actually. But if the world is to survive, you must do it by summer's end. <laughs> what? <laughs> You're asking the impossible of a 12-year-old child. I mean, to, to be honest, it was Roku's duty to do that before Aang. How are we going to make it out of this? I know you can do it, eh? For you have done it before. The solstice is ending. We must go our separate ways. For now. But I won't be able to come back to the temple. What if I have questions? How will I talk to you? I am a part of you. When you need to talk to me again, you will find a way. Be vague. <laughs> a great danger awaits you at the temple. I can help you face the threat, but only if you are ready. Ooh, we're I'm gonna, ready. we're gonna, we're gonna see Roku back in action for for a moment. I I would say. We 
got your back. Thanks. Where's Shayu? I don't know. No prince, no avatar. Apparently, the only thing I do have is five traitors. But Commander, only Shayu helped the avatar. Say your stories for the Fire Lord. As far as I'm concerned, you are all guilty. Take them to the prison hold! Hmm. Okay. I didn't know that uh, the task that Aang had was such a big, daunting one. He has, I guess, less than a year to master all the four elements before he has to face uh, Fire Lord Ozai. All right, so that was episode seven and eight. And wow, I, I, I didn't know that this was the magnitude of Aang's mission to basically do the impossible, mastering all four elements within maybe less than a year. That's, that's just so much responsibility and burden to put on a 12-year-old's shoulders. And to be honest, wasn't it Roku's duty to actually stop the Fire Lord from 100 years ago? Uh, now they're putting it all on Aang. And it's, it, it's just way too impossible. Uh, of course, for any of you who've already watched the whole show, and I, I have watched the whole show, I'm just re-watching it to bridge all of the gaps because I only know of parts bits and parts here and there and I don't know exactly everything that happened so that's why I'm I'm watching and reacting to Avatar the Last Airbender but we 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 know that you know they will be able to succeed obviously because if they didn't there wouldn't be a a sequel <laughs> or if there was if they did not succeed and there is a sequel then it's just going to be some kind of dystopian future but anyway, they they did succeed, uh, but uh, it's it's a little bit of a convoluted way of doing things. Uh, the, the journey in itself, I think, is a really wonderful thing to watch. And to watch Aang grow and learn and mature over the, the next year or so is a, a really satisfying experience. And that's why I'm going to watch it again. But anyway, back to avatar roku he was supposed to be the one to to stop sozin in the in the beginning right but he wasn't able to do that and that's what led to this whole mess uh, but anyway ang will be the one to try to stop him because he's now the avatar a very short span of time for him to do it so that's why it's going to be an exciting journey uh, a lot of ups and downs and twists and turns along the way. And I think that's the exciting part about it. So, yeah. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. And see you in the next one. Thank you guys for watching until the end of this video. Click here to subscribe and check out these two videos for more fun content. See you in the next one.